Hello! This is the first of a series of three videos where we're gonna see how to create Sudoku puzzles in Excel using VBA macros. In this first video, we are going to see how to create the Sudoku layout. We will do that in this uh, active sheet in, the, in a new workbook here. And um, we're gonna use the range from B2 to J10. So that's nine rows and nine columns. And we're gonna be using VVA. So we could easily do that in Excel, but we, we will do it in, in, in VVA. So first of all, I'm gonna rename here the name of the sheet. And now we are going to move to the Visual Basic Editor. And I will insert a module here and I'm gonna call this module Layout. So inside this module, we will create a sub procedure that I'm gonna call Create Layout. Okay, the first thing we'll do here is to select the, the Sudoku worksheet. Now we're going to clear the cells just in case there's some content. And we will also set the interior um, color, so the background color of the cells to uh, white. Okay, now with the range B2, so that's the range we were talking about before we're gonna be using, B2 to J10, so we will apply um, some formatting properties. B2 to J10. First will be the column width. It's gonna be five. Then um, <clears throat> row height, we'll put 26. And for those dimensions, we can have a font size of 26 as well. Well, you, you, can, you can change that, you can play with the numbers and, and uh, find the right uh, uh, size for you. This, I found this size fits well in a, in a sheet if you want to print it out in an A4 page. So now we want to have all the numbers uh, center. So horizontal alignment center and also vertically. Vertical alignment center. And we also want to, um, we want to have some borders around each cell. So we will do borders, line, style, continuous. And um, oh, I missed here the R, that should be fine. And then we also want to have a border around, um, around the, the whole range. And, and this border actually is gonna be is gonna be thick. So we'll have um, white Excel thick. And um, so now we want to add also thick borders to each quadrant. But that will be outside of the of the B2 J10 range. So I'm gonna end the width here. And now <clears throat> for each quadrant we're gonna use exactly the same um, piece of code here and we will start we want we don't need to do it for this one for the first quadrant we, we we will start in e2 to g4 e2 to g4 sorry 4 and then we paste the code 
to get a border around thick. The next, um, the next range would be B5 to D7. And we also paste here the border around code. Uh, then it would be H5 to J7. And finally, we will have E8 to G10. There we go. Um, so that's the the macro. And let's let's play it now and see how it works. So that's it. Here's our Sudoku layout. Um, now, in the next video, we are going to add numbers. So the way we will create Sudokus is by uh, decremental generation. So this means first we will fully fill the grid with numbers, and then we will remove some numbers to leave the gaps. Um, and we will do that following some rules to make sure we do not compromise a unique solution. So have you ever tried to fill uh, an empty Sudoku? Um, give, it, give it a try. So you could do it, the, the more simple way could be probably to have a very trivial sequence of numbers like that. And, um, and then um, you could also actually um, modify the order of the numbers to get it more difficult to identify the pattern, right? So, and, and ultimately you could use algorithms. So algorithms that will place the numbers in a, following a kind of pattern, more difficult to, to find out. And, but uh, anyway, <clears throat> doing it this way will always give a chance to crack the, crack the pattern, crack the solution. <coughs> So we are going to do it just by adding the numbers randomly. So we will add the numbers randomly um, and then remove some. So we're going to do that in the next video. See you then.